Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. There's been a new and final, I know, sad noises, update to Kerbal Space Program 1.12 on Final Approach. Now this is the 10th anniversary of Kerbal Space Program. Now I recently created the Kraken, but I had a few comments saying I didn't do it justice. The Kraken is to do with lots of parts, less rockets. So I'm gonna go at it again and create another Kraken, this time bigger and even more terrifying than before. Do not look so scared, child, it will be okay. So we'll be starting a new sandbox mode called Cracking. And yet again, the UK Space Agency will be funding this mission. Does the UK Space Agency know if you can harness the Kraken, you can harness anything. All right, so essentially we're starting with our command pod. Uh, and that's about it for normal rockets. We're not going to be adding fuel tanks. We're not going to be adding engines. We're going to be taking advantage of a physics sort of thing in this game. So if you haven't heard the Kraken, it's a giant space squid that will absolutely kill you. But in this game, it's where you add too many parts that the physics engine can't really understand what's going on. Yeah, so I want to try and find something that's not too explosive. I don't want fuel tanks, I don't think. Tell you what, actually, I do know things that probably are pretty strong. Decouplers? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, this could work. This could work. We'll start with the small... Okay, that's quite small, actually. We'll start with the second smallest decoupler. You can see that fits under there perfectly. Grab a few more. So I'm going to try and do 5% increase every time. And I'm basically making a massive cone, I think. So this could take a while. Why do I put myself through this? All right, so I may have got distracted, but oh my God, look at it. It's bouncing. <laughs> oh no, it's leaning. It's leaning. Oh, okay. Turns out the couplers are explosive. And before anyone in the comments is a smart ass and tells me, there's a really easy way to deal with this. You could have done it in a, a minute. I just don't don't want to know. Don't want to know. Ah, <laughs> oh, so the scale doesn't go above 400%. Okay, so we're going to have to delete these. And we're going to have to step up to the next decoupler size. Maybe if I just go for the 37 straight off. Oh, that's a big beast already. So yeah, that looks good. We'll start from that and we'll carry on going. All right, we're getting close to the end. We know we can only go to 400%. And I think this is our max size. So unless we start doing some straight sections, I think we're done. Nice. The world's biggest <laughs> mushroom. <laughs> yeah, that's as big as we can go for decouplers. So let's give it a launch and let's see if it moves. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that really does look like a tentacle as well. Uh, is it going to settle? It might settle. Yeah, so there's definitely a bit of movement. There's not too much though. Now I'm going to launch these as well just to... I'm just intrigued to see what will happen. Uh, nothing, apparently. I'm going to launch all of them. Already, she's going to fall. She's going to topple. Whoa. Oh, crap. That was a lot of explosion. So they're really explosive. Maybe that isn't what I want. I don't know. I just don't know. But anyway, the other test I wanted to do with this. People have been telling me there's an auto strut. So I no longer need to strut everything manually. Uh, the question is, where was it? I cannot remember. Something about settings. 11 minutes later. All right, so I did some mod searching, a bit of research. Uh, you need a mod to auto strut everything. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, apparently that mod doesn't really exist anymore. So what I'm going to do is delete everything. <gasps> yes, I know it's painful. It's painful. Uh, but we're going to do this another way around because I found out you can auto strut and then copy that part and the auto strut continues with it yeah, and the best thing is if you also strut everything it's more likely to feed the cracker the question is do i do i do the decouplers again they were a bit explosive i'm a bit worried they might be a bit too much do we build with some other stuff you can see there's a little orange line that goes whoop so that's where the invisible strut is going all right and now if i take this this one beneath if i scale that down by five percent and then auto strut that that would be auto strut to the one above so now if i copy this apparently according to my youtube commenters that is now yes it's it's strutted excellent so what i need to do is exactly what i did before but in reverse i might just see you in a few minutes one hour later right so you might be saying matt why have you just created an ice cream cone or a tornado <laughs> A <laughs> uh, good question. I don't really know. Uh, but I was thinking we can have two of these. Maybe we can have four. Let's have four. And let's just see if that holds together or if it explodes. Right. She's standing. There's a lot of smoke down there. Oh no, there's explosions. There's explosions. Jeb is loving life. So here we go. We have survived. Oh. <laughs> wow, these things actually ended up bent. 
<laughs> I have not seen that in this game before. <laughs> Right, so I think the problem was it was a bit too a bit too neat looking. Like the tentacles, they're a bit too smooth. Like we need we need all sorts on them. So uh yeah, this could work. This could work. Alright, that looks a bit better. Uh but now we don't have any fuel. So I wonder, can I add fuel down there? It'd be nice to just pour it in. <laughs> Alright, I'll just shove one fuel tank on the top. I'm gonna launch it and just see if it fires straight away. Uh no, don't think that fuel tank is attached. <laughs> Uh, just a very, very explosive ice cream cone at the moment. Well, then, well, we don't we don't want fuel really, if I'm honest. We want to try and use the Kraken to help us move. Uh, as far as thinking, I could just go mental with I beams. Now, my plan here is to sort of make steel sort of roll cage, so that hopefully it will be less explosive. But we know from the past these I beams are pretty damn strong. So if we can use it as like an exoskeleton and sort of prevent our tentacles from actually touching the ground, what are we do. And our craft should survive, right? <laughs> Alright, that looks pretty cool if I say so myself. Oh god, I didn't like being moved. I might have killed the computer. Balls. <laughs> Alright, so we will copy these so we've got four of them like before. Right, we're on. I can't zoom out anymore, but that does look cool. It looks like I knew what I was thinking when I came up with it. So that's what we're always aiming for in this game. <laughs> right, let's launch and wait five minutes. Oh yes, you know it's a good design when you've been on the loading screen for five minutes. You can smell burning plastic coming from your CPU. Whoa! <laughs> there she is, people. <laughs> there she is. Right, will our steel cage prevent explosions? It appears to have. I don't know why there's a pile of decouplers down there. Uh, but things are looking good, I think. We are slightly falling over. Uh, really not a lot of movement. I was expecting the Kraken to really take hold of this one. Oh, there's an explosion. That's why. That's why. Our exoskeleton hasn't worked. We right, may as well get our nav ball out of the way. That's not helping anyone. Oh no, look at Valentina's face. She knows something's wrong. <laughs> wow, this is toppling really, really slow. Oh, it does look cool though, doesn't it? All right, will the steel cage prevent explosions? I think they bloody have, you know. Oh, maybe not. Oh, hang on. We do appear to be moving at quite some speed. The UK Space Agency flag will just be a distant memory. All right, frame rate in here is really good, actually. Uh, so I reckon let's, let's add some boosters. All right, I think that's going to work, maybe. I think they're all on the same stage, so we should be good. We've even made our own, like, aerodynamic nose cone. Look how smooth that is. All right, let's get this thing into space. I'm going to attempt to hit launch as soon as it loads as well, by the way. All right, launch. All right, I think I've launched. That's a really creepy face, Valentina. <laughs> Please stop that. <laughs> All right, this one might be dead. I'll give it a few more minutes. Oh, we've got movement. We've got movement. Oh, no, I've got to just space everything. I don't know where my boosters are on the... <laughs> ah, here we go. Here we go. All right, cheat. I think I want those three turned on. This might crash the game because I've just tried to do it while it's determined to explode. Can we now launch? If we turn the throttle up. Oh no, I hear lots of decouplers. I shouldn't have hit space. The next morning. Alright, so since I started recording, there's been an update. Mm, new stuff. I was just having a look around the parts, see what they've added, and uh, thankfully the UK Space Agency is still the most important part of the game. Right, so having a little look in here, it looks like, I swear these are new, Starshot 32, Starshot 8, what are these? Alright, let's swap them with our parachute, let's bung them on the top. What does that say? No peeking, brother. <laughs> I was just trying to have a little sneaky look in there. Uh, so sorry, Mr. Kraken, you're going to have to wait. Oh, what is this trail burst what oh fireworks they're fireworks you got fireworks how do i launch oh launch whoa whoa look at they go whoa <laughs> okay that's pretty cool oh, i can launch as many as i want that's pretty cool i wonder is there an easy way to like oh they've all run out oh, okay so fireworks shots there's only a certain number so that was the star shot eight so i imagine that's got eight fireworks yeah this bad boy star shot 32 oh wow we got a try the kraken's egg and what's the trail bear strobe whirly classic oh and you can make them any color you want <laughs> uh, yes you want more force you want more duration star sights yes launch velocity yes explosion delay no you don't want explosion delay we've got 32 shots i do wonder can i add like more than one we bung one on the side 
I, do, I just don't know how I'm going to like fire both of them because they don't seem to be set up for staging, which is a bit disappointing. I'll tell you what, let's build a bloody firework thing. Of course, fireworks should be mounted on I-beams and then we'll bung fireworks on all the ends. We're going to do a firework show. I wonder if fireworks work in space. All right, so we've got a parachute. We need a heat shield. You go under that. All right, now we've just got to set up our fireworks. All right, so first off, we just launch our fireworks here. All right, let's launch this one. It's a Kraken's egg. Whoa, 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 it's huge. Whoa, look at the trail. Whoa. I'm missing the fireworks because I'm launching them all. Okay, sweet. Fireworks are kind of cool. Shall we see if they work in space? Look, everyone, the UK Space Agency made a real rocket. <laughs> it's actually just a basic rocket sort of thing. Well, with those. All right, throttle up. Let's go to space. Uh, I'm going to do SAS because I'm scared. Oh, God, look how flappy our nozzle is. Oh, God, oh, God. How do I steer this again? Oh, shit and out. I thought I had SAS on. I wonder, will our firework destroy our parachute? No, it seems to go straight through it, which is cool. All right, here we go. To celebrate 10 years of Kerbal Space Program, the UK Space Agency is plumped together. We sort of had a tip jar go around the office. And we've got this firework system ready to go to space. SAS on, launch, throttle up. Oh God, why is it bending so much? Why is it bending so much? Oh dear. It should be fine. We're going up. That's the main thing. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, but this is a proper rocket. I've got like the couplers and wings and all sorts. This is a serious rocket and it's going into space. It's actually going pretty high. Or maybe not. We've used a quarter of our fuel and we're nowhere near a quarter of the way there. Oh, sh oh bollocks. All right, there we go. There we go. That's a bit... Oh, no. Hang on, hang on. God damn it, rocket. Face the right way. There you go. We're rising again. I swear SAS isn't doing anything. What if I untoggle that? Oh, no, that's worse. That's worse. That's worse. Oh, please, rocket. I just want to get to space. Uh, but there we go. We're going straight up now. We're nearly out of fuel. So I will decouple this. All right, we're out of fuel. Let's decouple that. Oh, God. All right, now we're spinning. Now we're spinning. But uh, there you go. Now we're going the right way. Yes. Oh, we're well close to space. 70,000 is what we're aiming for, I think. Well, or the moon. Whatever, whatever's easier. Ah. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, advertising. All right, we're nearly out of fuel. So I'm actually going to stop that and just let's have a look on the map. Right, yeah, we're not we're not quite in orbit. All right, so let's speed up till we get close to the apoapsis. All right, now we're facing away from Earth. Lovely. Let's see what our fireworks do. Launch. Oh, they all went. They all went. Oh, they do explode. We have fireworks in space. <laughs> all right, let's point her towards Earth then. Because I think our fireworks are a bit far away at the moment. All right, and then we will... Oh, wow. Boosh. Oh, okay. Let's launch a crap ton of those. It's like I shot like a mega laser. Boosh. <laughs> all right, let's... Do the launch velocity up, star size up, duration up, force up. Let's see what that does. That really looks like we're destroying the Earth, which is pretty cool. I can get on board with that. Nice. Oh, look, I changed one of them. That's the one with loads of duration. Whoa. All right. Everything's got to go up. It's like changing color. It went from yellow to blue. What's it going to do? What's it going to do? It's so far away. Whoa. Cool. Well, well, they're quite fun. All right, so my next question is, can I use fireworks to propel myself? So if I face them all down <laughs> and then maybe move them like that, that looks sort of aerodynamic, right? Okay, I still haven't found a button to launch fireworks. I'm going to have to... Oh, oh, they definitely... Explosion. <laughs> they definitely did launch me, though. Hey, go, we're off, we're off, we're off. We're actually off. Oh, God, did we... What is going on? I think I launched too many fireworks. I destroyed that. Yeah, so it seems as they like hit me from underneath, that nudges me. Just wondering what if we rotate these very, very slightly? That might keep us a bit more like level. Here we go. Here we go. We're off. We're off. We're actually off. How high did we get? 100 meters. Does that count as space? Right, so I've literally just spent an hour fully covering the bottom of this. Like, there's there's so many firework launchers in there. I went on the Discord, and they were very nice. They taught me how to do all this launchy stuff. So now I can launch all of these at once with the press of a button. So uh, let's see, can we get to space using the power of fireworks? Uh, one other thing to note as well, because of the lag, I've actually made all the fireworks black. Uh, so that means you won't be able to see the explosions, but uh, <laughs> I get some sort of a frame rate. It's still like, well, you'll see, you'll see. 
So that was one. That did nothing, of course. If I do quite a few presses, we start going up and I've destroyed <laughs> destroyed the launch pad. But we're still going. Oh, how high are we? 200 meters. We've cracked 200 meters, boys. 230 meters. And there's so many firework explosions going off. Oh, can I actually turn off the explosions? Let's have a look. Oh god, it's going to take ages. <laughs> No, I can only delay, it seems. Yeah, I think we got to like 237 meters, though, so not great. <laughs> not quite space, is it? Yeah, I'm going to revert while I still can. So I'm starting to smell burning plastic again. A theme for today's video. Well, it does look cool. I'll give it that. 253 meters. No frame rate. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't think we're going to get to space, guys, unfortunately. I did try. I tried my best. Uh, but congratulations to Kerbal Space Program. 10 years. And I feel like this has truly been a celebratory video. We've done the Kraken, which is a KSP classic. And we've, well, we tried to launch to space with the fireworks. But anyway, guys, peace, love and bridges. Well, peace, love and fireworks. Oh, God, that is a fire explosion we are heading for. Uh, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, guys.